Hi everyone, I'm Priyanka and I'm here with Harper's Bazaar UK and I am going to share with you what's in my big beauty bag. <laughs> I think my personal beauty philosophy is to try and be happy all the time. I've noticed now in my almost 23 year career that when I look back at pictures and I've been in a happy phase of mine, my makeup looks good, my clothes look good. So um, I think to look your most beautiful, you have to try and be joyful. I didn't know when I was growing up very much about beauty. My mom was, you know, always into her lotions and potions and, and she loved makeup and um, she always had, you know, nail polish on and very well coiffed. But I was like a tomboy, I didn't really care till um, I was about 16. And then I, you know, started caring about the way I looked and, um, and I think my beauty journey started from there. All right, let's open this baby up. The first thing I see, which is so important, is <laughs> my Dyson Airwrap. So this is a, a really old one. Well, because this was a pandemic buy. Um, I have had the good fortune of, you know, always mostly having my hair done by incredible experts because, you know, I'm an actor. So I get to sit with amazing people and sit on the chairs of, you know, people who've done the most famous people's hair and models and stuff. And the pandemic happened and we were all locked down, but I was promoting um, a movie, The White Tiger, my memoir, a book, so I had a book tour and I was launching my hair care anomaly. So I had to do virtual tour and I had to do my own hair and makeup and this kind of saved my life. So this I bought in the UK, here's the plug, um, because my American one, my American blow dryer blew up as soon as I got here, which was a rookie mistake. But I bought this Dyson because I wanted to do my hair myself and it made my life super easy. So I'm emotionally attached to it as well. <laughs> All right, and this comes off so it fits into my bag. Then, um, this is very important. My hair gets frizzy very quickly. This is Anomaly. Um, it's a hair care line that I created um, and founded, and it's super easy. It goes in my bag, smells really nice. Sometimes I just put it on as a pick-me-up, but it has a little nozzle. You take a little bit on your hands, and I just put it through my ends, and it really controls my hair. And again, always have it in my bag. After I'm done with that, put it all over my hands too. Um, hair is really important to me. There's a direct correlation of my hair with my confidence, I feel. Um, if I'm having a bad hair day, I feel insecure. Um, this is a new haircut, I'm still getting used to it. The next thing um, I will pull out is, um, oh, skincare is like the most important part of, I think it's, my night routine and it's my day routine starts with skincare. So I think it's also meditative for me in a way. Usually, whenever I'm on camera, I always have an eye mask on my eyes um, or a face mask. And I love 111 Skin. I think they're amazing, kind of expensive, but really amazing um, and good for your skin. But I try to do an eye mask whenever um, I'm in front of camera. I keep it in my fridge. So any eye mask, actually, honestly, that you want to use, keep it in your fridge overnight and put it on first thing in the morning. It really makes a big difference. More to my confidence than if my eyes, I don't know. Do, 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 do. Oh, this is an amazing, amazing, really rich, but Augustinius Bader makes amazing skincare. I always try and use it um, either in the day or night. Works really well under makeup. So if you're gonna have a day where you're wearing foundation, where you're wearing makeup um, on your skin, this is a really good product to have. I do have daily beauty rituals. Um, if I'm on camera, then I will ice my face. I will use hot tools to make sure I get in good circulation. If I don't have tools, I use my fingers. That, that's also really good to do, um, just to give and sculpt your face. This is an old Hollywood slash Bollywood trick um, one, one actress told me. If you don't have ice, just stick your face in a bowl of cold water or stick your face in a bowl of ice. It really like compacts your face. Yeah, there have been dire times where I've done that and it's worked, or at least it's woken me up, I don't know. For skincare, in the morning, I definitely don't use any form of soap on my face because I have dry skin. If I need to use a cleanser or something, but I usually would shower, come out fresh-faced. I like to do a steam if I can. I have a little facial steam portable thing that goes with me wherever. Then I use a oil, um, a serum, 
a moisturizer and eye cream and um, in the daytime a sunblock and at night I do the same thing but this time with a face cleanser that's definitely like a ritual that I follow no matter how tired I am or where I'm coming from what I'm doing is taking off every ounce of makeup from my face giving my skin the chance to breathe because it I have to literally wear makeup every day for my job then this is my Miracle Pure Skin Improving, well, I will say like foundation because it's not really just a foundation. It has hyaluronic acid and vitamin C in it. My color is caramel. You find, you know, they have Max Factor and they have like many, many, many colors. But I use this like in the car. When I'm on the go, I'll do my like, I'll have my shower, I'll get into the car and this is part of my like makeup routine because it's so quick, it's compact, it fits in my bag and it it has dual purposes. It's very hydrating as well. So this always stays in my bag. Okay, um, my eyebrows are a really big part of doing makeup for me. And I think, um, you know, having the right eyebrow products is are very important. And it takes a few things to get eyebrows right, but I love Anastasia's um, eyebrow gel. I think it's amazing. I always have it in my bag with a little brush and you know, it just helps my eyebrows feel like they're in control and then it makes my face look like it's in control. Eyebrows are just great to frame your face and I think, you know, it was very underrated for a very long time, but I think it's something to always remember when you're doing your makeup. I've been through many phases in my life where um, I have expressed myself with makeup, but one in particular that I remember was when I was in high school and Tupac Shakur died. I was very devastated. I was really sad. He was my favorite and my crush at the time. And I remember I wore black for like almost a month or 40 days um, to school and I used to have like super smoky dark eyes and that was my expression of my grief and anger. <laughs> mm -hmm. Oh, This um, eyeshadow palette, can you tell whose it is? Oh, it's mine. <laughs> I just created it uh, with Max Factor, but um, it's called the Universal Color Collection because it has colors that are um, great for every skin tone. That's why I only have eight shades because there are very few colors that work for every skin tone. Um, but we worked uh, really hard on this to make sure that these are flattering for dark skin, medium skin, light skin, and everything else in between. So I use a little bit for the daytime and if I want an intense color it's very high impact colors so a little bit goes far and you can use it I'm wearing it today actually this is the terracotta that I'm wearing on my eyes and um, you can give it the intensity you want so it's a good one to have. I grew up with a lot of um, women in my life, many, many strong women, my mother, my grandmother, and my dad actually, um, you know, my dad was a vain man, he liked to take care of himself, he had all of his products and stuff. So I grew up with people um, that were very much about self-care and grooming. So it kind of was something I imbibed, but I didn't recognize how important it was till um, I, much later in my life actually. You take um, your youth for granted, you know, <laughs> when you're young. But um, I think also growing up in India, um, homemade DIY projects and stuff. My mom used to really do create a lot of exfoliating. Um, it's called Uptan and it's made out of flour and um, turmeric and yogurt and you put it on your skin and it's like an exfoliant. So my mom used to make, make all of these like natural things at home and try them. So I still do that. Um, I use that as an exfoliant on my body very often. But um, I think my upbringing has also lent itself, um, you know, learning about beauty from India and nourishing. Nourishment is a big part of that. Whether it comes to scalp care, oiling your hair, um, uh, my grandmother lived on coconut oil, like she would put coconut oil all over her body and she passed at 94 and had like three wrinkles. So, you know, there are like so many little things that I've imbibed from, um, from my heritage and my culture. I love nourishment on my lips. I don't like cracked lips. So this is a Chanel tinted lip balm. I always like a really nice, like moisturized lip. And this is a really pretty color, which depending on how much you use can be a lot or less, but a lip balm is really important for me. Then last but not the least, 
I love this lipstick. Again, this is part of my collection with Max Factor. Every woman should have a great red. And I love this red. It's called um, Intense Flame because I'm a dramatic person and very intense. <laughs> this is a great red to have. I sometimes will use a lipstick on my cheeks as well. Sorry, just how it goes. It's quick, it's easy. Put it on my mouth, take a little bit, dab it on my cheeks, spread it out, I'm ready to go. So this is a good one for that. <laughs> The one thing beauty-wise that makes me feel instantly made up is a red lip. Even if I'm not wearing mascara, or I'm not wearing anything on my face, you wear a red lip and I feel like I'm instantly ready to go. Honestly, I feel most beautiful when I'm, ha I'm, when I'm happy. I'm, if I'm happy, if I'm happy somehow my skin is more radiant, my makeup looks better, my hair is better, I'm just like, when I'm in a terrible mood or if I'm unhappy, like everything goes to shit. But, um, I think that I feel my most confident and my most beautiful when I'm happy, whether that's on a carpet or whether that's at home with my friends and family. It's again, directly correlated. Well, thank you so much for watching and I hope you enjoyed hearing what was in my beauty bag.